And Election Day is just a week from tomorrow, and this region has one Senate seat where both parties have contested primaries. In his ongoing series of reports on the primary, KDK political editor John Delano says this race is to fill the seat of a retiring state senator. Both Democrats and Republicans are picking their nominees to replace retiring state Senator Jim Brewster, a Democrat, in the 45th state senatorial district that stretches from Plum and Monroeville into the Mon Valley to Elizabeth and forward and westward into the South Hills to Castle Shannon. It's one of the five senatorial districts in Allegheny County. There are 50 state senators in Pennsylvania. State Representative Nick Piscatano of West Mifflin is one of the Democrats seeking this office. He's not alone on the ballot in the 45th district. Was redistricted, so this is the first um, election we're having in the new district. The other Democrat is Mackenzie White, a social worker and public health professional from Brentwood. White says the district does not need another politician in Harrisburg. I felt like it was time that we had representation from our community that understood a lot of the struggles most of us are facing every day. And I also felt like it was time that we had more people with human services background. Piscatano, who was elected to the state house in 2020, is a certified public accountant, and he cites his experience in both the private and public sector. When you want to send somebody to the state Senate, you want to have somebody who has experience in Harrisburg, who has the relationships both here in Allegheny County and in Harrisburg to be able to hit the ground running on day one and be able to advocate loudly for our, my future constituents. Republicans also have two candidates running for this office, Cammie Stolginskis of Munhall and Jennifer Dentini of Plum Borough. Dentini is a small businesswoman. I own two businesses, AmGuard and 3G Security Solutions, and we provide contract security guard service. Dentini, who has never held an elective office, says she wants to bring economic opportunity back to a region she says has lost out. If we keep electing the same type of politicians to Harrisburg, we're going to keep getting the same results. Despite many requests, Dolginskis has not made herself available for interviews. On her campaign filing, she describes herself as a consultant. Voters in both parties will pick their nominees on April 23rd. John Delano, KDKA TV News.